Hey everybody, Bo Wigington here. Today we are going to be setting up a scratch start TIG with the Lincoln Electric 210 MP. So here's all the things we're going to need to make this happen. As you can see, we've got our ground, we've got our TIG body, or a TIG torch body. Then we've got a crescent wrench, we're going to need that. We've got some tungsten, this is rare earth. Um, we got our cup, so number eight cup. We got our boot because we are going to be using a gas lens. Um, and then we got a 332nd collet. We've got our rooster tail and we've got a regulator right here. And this is very important for the scratch start. This is going to be our power block. I'll show you where that goes in just a moment. We've got our stinger, which is going to be our ground, actually. And then, last but not least, we've got our hose that's going to be cooked, hooked up to our regulator and our tank. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get our argon set up here. So, first thing we're going to do is take this, our blue meter slash regulator. What you want to do, you want to make sure, quick crack it, make sure you get any debris that's in there out. And we're going to just screw it in. And remember, it is brass, so it is a little bit uh, more delicate than normal steel. So we don't want to go too hard on it, but we do want a snug fit. We're going to get that. We go straight up and down. And take our trusty crescent wrench here. And I'm just going to snug it down. Next thing. We're going to be connecting our hose to our regulator here. Get that snug down. All right. Next, we got to plug this into something, and that's why our power block's coming in. So this is what actually is going to be sending the current to the TIG torch. So we're going to connect this side here, make sure, nice and snug, grab this side, this side of our TIG torch hose, and it connects right into this side, screw it on in. Take our crescent wrench again, get it nice and small so we can get a nice snug fit on here. All right, and don't want to over tighten because it will strip. All right, so now we are going to be setting up our TIG torch. First thing that we're going to do, we're going to be using a gas lens today, so 332nd, because that's the size tungsten we're going to be using. So since we are using a gas lens, we are going to need a spacer. So I'm going to make sure we pop it on there. And you see how this has got a slight bevel on it. And that also has a bevel on it. We're going to make sure that those connect in there. We're going to twist it down. Get it hand tight. You don't want to over tighten on these things. So that's step one. Next, you're going to have your collet, a 332nd collet. It's going to be holding our tungsten. And what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and place that in the back. Then next, what we're going to do, we're going to take our rooster tail, our back cap. We're going to go ahead and twist that on. We're not going to get it too tight yet because we still got to install our tungsten later. Last step, we've got our number 8 CK cup. We're going to just go ahead and twist it on the top and get it nice and snug. We don't want any gas leaking out. And as you can see, this is nice and set up, ready for our tungsten to be installed, which we are going to do right now. We just go ahead and slip it on in. And to get the right, you usually want it to be sticking out. So that's about equal distance of the cup. So we're going to tighten that on down. And tick torch set up. So, got a couple more steps. Be right back. All right. So, next step, 
we got to connect our machine to our torch. First thing to know, when doing TIG, we're running DCEN, which means the uh, positive side is actually going to be the ground. So let's go ahead and connect that. We're going to go into our positive terminal over here and just slide it in, lock it down. And then that is going to connect to our table here. Next, we're going to take our stinger, which is usually positive if you're running stick. We're going to connect this into the negative. So go ahead and plug it in, negative terminal, get nice and tight. Then this is the part that makes scratch skirt different than the rest. So that power block that we installed earlier, right here, this, you're gonna take your stinger and you connect it right to that. And that's what's gonna send the current to the actual TIG torch. All right, all right. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get our CFH going. All right. So that's cubic feet per hour. Our argon is on. Torch is open. So we're going to go ahead and just start cranking her up. We want to run around 25. So it's the top of the ball. That's where you want it to be. How we can control that on here is, you see on the back, we're going to have a valve. So... Twist it open, that's going to get our backing gas rolling. If you close it up, that's going to save your gas. You want to make sure whenever you're not welding, you try and make sure you turn that valve off so that you don't waste any argon because you'll start going through it real fast. So we're going to power on our machine. And we're setting it up to go to the home button. We're going to switch over to TIG. We're running on 120 volt right now. It's telling you we are setting it up DCEN and then 100% argon. We don't have a TIG pedal because we're doing scratch start. Our tungsten diameter is going to be 332nd. And the gauge of what we have right now that we are going to be just test welding is going to be 10 gauge. And this is telling you that the output to your torch is off. If we want to turn that on, we're going to have to do this. That turns it on, turn it back off. Now, all we got to do is fire up the machine, get to welding. <laughs> 